Where's your cap? You better put it on. Got to get fixed up like a zombie or something to do this. Well, it's a safety rule. I know. Oh. Where are you going? To the restroom. Do you mind? You just started work. I know, and now I have to tie up my hair. And I'm going to do it where there's a decent mirror. Just because I have to work amongst a lot of scarecrows doesn't mean I have to look like one. Hello, Iris. How's the best looking girl in Victor Aircraft? Who, me? You're sweet. You know, everybody's always yelling at me around here. Now they're making it big to do about I must tie up my hair. My hair's pretty. Do something. Stand still, honey. Oh, it hurts. Can't go up there. Hey, let me go. My girlfriend's been hurt. Can't go out of your department. Oh, please. She got a hair caught. Sorry. What's the matter with you? Take it easy. He's doing the best he can. Well, can't someone get me out of here? No, no, no. Oh, doctor, get me out of here. It's killing me. What are you going to do? I'm going to cut you loose. Cut my hair? Oh, no, you don't. Don't cut no, my no. hair. Just a minute, now. There you are. Just a minute. Now, you better go lie down for a while. Ask the nurse to give you a sedative tablet. You didn't have to do that to my hair, did you? Come on, Iris. I'll take you to the restroom like the doctor said. Take your hands off of me. Don't you think you've done enough? You've had a bad scare. Now you see why I have to tie up your hair. Oh, shut up. I'm sick and tired of you and this whole place. That's the way you feel about it. Get your time. OK. Well, sure, and be gar and be jabbers if it isn't gorgeous. Hello, John. Say, you know. Say, was it you got your hair caught? Yes. I could have been scalped. A darn old machine. And on top of that, she fired me. Oh, well, don't let her throw you, baby. Looking like you can always get a job. I hope so. I've sent every nickel home. Well, so long, Jack. And thanks for being so sweet. You know what you need? I've been here a long time. I know all the angles. You need some hidey ho and whoopsie do. Tonight. And with that champagne blues chaser, Jed Evans. No, thanks. I've got too many things on my mind. My room rent's off. And I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not as if I had any money or anything. Move over to my place. In the same building, I mean. It's the Cottonwood Apartments. No opium smoking in the halls. All kidding aside, it's an okay joint. There's a vacancy right across the way from me. Oh, the room rent's probably sky high. Will you stop it? I'm working, ain't I? Look, I'll be over to Mar Lustvogel's with a low-powered car and some high-powered plans. Right after the whistle blows, you get packed. Oh, Judd, I hope you mean all this. Of course I do. You want to sign this, Judd? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> 